got a big smile on my face today because I think I'm about to outdo myself uh, pretty well here. So, yes, we have the white t-shirt on again, but it is about to be replaced, and I cannot wait for this one. I think we are about to go big. Oh, oh baby. This is going to be good. No white t-shirt. Got myself a little outfit going on right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. This is what the people wanted to see right here. Oh, yeah. I hope you didn't think I was done yet. Guess I got some of this. I've never used it before. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Oh, baby. <laughs> I've really outdone myself. I thought I might have been hyping it up a little bit too much, but no. This is it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this on with the help of a mirror and not the camera. I don't know about you guys, but, uh, I think I did pr pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right, let's get into our setup. So first and foremost, as always, I'm using Hex Devour Hope. If the Hex is still standing and I get to five tokens, I can kill the survivors by hand. Second, and still very important, Barbecue and Chili returns to my perk lineup. After I get a hook, I can see the auras of survivors that are a certain distance away. Then I have a little bit of an oddball since I'm using Spirit. I'm using Spirit Fury. Once I destroy two pallets, the next survivor to pallet stun me, the pallet breaks over me instead. Then finally, I'm using Dying Light, which is a bit more obscure. So anytime I hook a survivor that is not the obsession, all survivors who are not the obsession get a stackable 3% decrease to healing and repairing generators. So for each hook I get on the non-obsession, I gain a token, so if I have 10 hooks, that's minus 30% to healing and repairing. If I get five, that's minus 15%, so on and so forth. And then both of my add-ons are pretty simple. One gives me quicker power recovery, and the next allows me to stay in phase for longer so I can go a further distance. With that being said, let's get into our gameplay. All right, quite a bit of action here. David has a key, Fang has a flashlight, Jane has a med kit. Let's get it going. Alright, Dead Dog Saloon. I like this map. It's one of my favorite maps. Obviously the perk review map. Um, really good totem spawns on this map for the Devour Hope. But, uh, oh boy, if early indications are anything, I got a really bad totem spawn because it's just kind of wide out in the open and not in the bush or anything like that. And it's not great. Okay, I see someone up top. We're going to see if I bait them down. I'm going to go over there phase around and then hope they think I'm coming up and they drop down and Mr. Dwight does. I get a little hit in and uh, using that power recovery add-on, not sure why he just slowed up right there, but let's go get the man. He's probably gonna try to dance on a pallet if he can and here we are. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. About to get my first dying light stack for the 3% nerf and also hopefully we get our first stack for Devour Hope. They are probably all back up top. Okay, I see two people up there, plus the other dude is going up there. I saw them on my barbecue. Let's see what we can uh, make happen here. All right, gonna phase up. Uh, I'm probably not gonna make this. They got it. Oh, whole squad's out here. Yo, what's going on? Big Booty Jane. Oh, they're gonna go for the unhook right here. Let me get into our hope range. Let me get my first token. Let's get this teleport ready. All right, I got my first token. Let me start phasing. Um, that was, this is quite easy. Let's see who I'm on. I can't really hear who I'm on yet. We are on Dweet. Hello, Mr. Dweet. I'm sorry, I'm not tunneling you. I swear, I'm sorry. Um, hello, David. You are shirtless and hot. You also have a key. Um, but don't think I didn't notice you there. All right, let's pick him up. Bang! Oh, oh she should have blinded me easy. She didn't. Oh, that's a first time flashlight user if I've ever seen one. Uh, let's get out of Devour Hope range again. Oh, that was nasty. She should have gotten that flashlight save. I got off easy there. Two stacks for Dying Light already. 
Um, I don't think anyone's over in this area. No one on that gen. Don't think anyone spotted my totem yet. We're gonna go right back again. This time I won't be mean to Dwight. I'm not gonna tunnel him. I definitely want to get the four Mori here. So uh, okay, big booty Jane. She's gonna scatter, scatter. Let's follow her. She's going in one of the best loops if she goes up there. She does not go upstairs. Doesn't go out the window. There's a ball right there. There's a pallet right there. She's probably gonna dance on it. Let's see if I can do this again and uh, swipe on the pallet. I'm gonna go around the back way, mess around. And I'm gonna get pallet smacked right in the grill. I've got half half of my spirit for you. I need one more pallet. She's gonna do the same thing again. Look at this pallet right here. All right, here we go. Easy peasy. Not sure why you try to heal. I'm right here. All right, so we're gonna get our third stack of Dying Light, that means all survivors but the Obsession are minus 9% for healing and repairing. And uh, I should just, I'm gonna zoom away here. Those survivors are right there. I want them to get the unhook, but I'm gonna zoom away here, get my third stack of Devour Hope, and we are going to insta-down. So all survivors are exposed right now. They're all insta-downable. I just need a quick swipe. Hi, Jane. Tell me you have DS without telling me you have DS. You want me to grab you out of the locker and trigger your DS, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I know Mr. David with the keys right here. And he's going to get into a locker for some reason. And uh, how'd that go for you, good buddy? All right. So we're rolling right now. He's the obsession, so no dying light stack. Um, but I sh I'm going to get my poor stack of... Uh... Ooh, you see that guy going in the distance with that barbecue right there? He's probably hex totem hunting. They're trying to get rid of it, so... Um, let's go say what's up. There's a pal right here. Hi, Fang. What's going on? Should have had a flashlight save right there. But much like that, uh, much like the flashlight save, you failed right there. And that is blocked off. Okay. I won't go there. I want to get her further away from the action. Um, because I'm going to be able to get that final Devour Hope set. So, when Fang is unhooked, I'm going to be able to Mori, and then I have a dude on the far generator next to my totem so they're gonna be the priority and uh what can i say things are getting pretty hot right now but uh let's see what we can make happen here four stacks of dying light okay got my fifth stack sprint first on me mr dweet Ooh. not not quite close enough he definitely saw my totem right there if he didn't know my totem was here he definitely knows now um i'm gonna hope i thought he was gonna jump back out of me at that window maybe try to go through the phase i faked Let's go around this side. That is not there, so I see why there's a breakable door there. I should probably break that piece right there. Let's see if we can, uh... Oh! Mr. David, I saw you hiding in the background. So here we're... This is a really big play right here. No dead hearts, surprisingly. This is a bait play. I know he knows where my totem is, and I know he's gonna go right back on my totem. So I'm gonna knock down the David King and guess... Oh, I can hear you. Let me grab you. Let me go around from the rear end. Let me grab you up here. Now, I'm gonna prioritize the Mori on Mr. Dwight. Why? Obviously, he knows where the totem's at, and I wanna be able to kill the rest of the team by hand, and Fang is coming around, so I'm a bit concerned that she knows. She definitely knows where the totem is, but watch this. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I see David's up, but I know he's probably still in this back corner, so I'm gonna leave the totem again, go get another survivor down, and by the time I get back, I'm guessing Fang is going to be on that gen. Um, that is just my educated guess. So I'm gonna do the same trick again. Um, ooh, hello, Jane! That, uh, she pallet smacked me earlier, but that did, uh, didn't go too hot for her. And I bet a million dollars that the Spang is on the totem she is. I left it unattended for quite a bit. Um, David's still back here, I think. Let's get this, uh, pallet. So now I have Spirit Fear. If I get smacked, it's gonna break over me. And, uh, I can... Here, David, though. Where are you, sir? Where you? Ooh, did I just walk through you? Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. I see that key in your hand. Time to uh, kill the David by hand. One of my favorite Mori's right here. You stab him in the back, and then she gets mad. She just screams. She goes, ah, ah, ah. I love it. It's my favorite Mori in the game, probably. All right, let's get that final Mori in. Everyone's down. We're good to go. This was a huge game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Ooh, Jane with a little cleavage there with the big booty. Okay. That's that huge dub right there. Brutal killer. Hell yeah, let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, high-budget costume this time. I really put some effort into it. I hope you guys liked it. Obviously, this is cosplay killer. We're just having a little bit of fun out here. 
So I hope you guys take it easy. Again, I hope you have a happy holiday and a very good new year. Uh, celebrate responsibly, of course. If you guys could leave a like on this video, I would greatly appreciate that for all the uh, high effort I put in. And then I would also appreciate if you guys leave a comment. I love responding to comments, seeing what you guys say. Uh, check the description. As always, take it easy. My name is Don Pat. Have a great 2022. Take it easy. Bye.